Good evening and welcome back to another beer review. I'm Ben the Beer Lad and today I'm going to be doing the third uh, Freaky Franchise beer. This is The Ghost Dimension. Uh, this is a 13% Mexican Mole Imperial Stout. Um, this is a Brew York beer with collab Fierce. Um, yeah, Fierce beer. They're out of... Is it Aberdeen? Yeah, Aberdeen in Scotland. Um, if you haven't seen, I've done the previous two beers. Really like them. Both got a 10 out of 10, which is quite good. Um, this one apparently contains ghost chilies. And I love a bit of spice, but I think a ghost chili might be a bit too much for me. But I guess we'll find out. Um, it says here, in Chapter 3, the ghost I mentioned, brewed with our best beery pals, Fierce Beer, our heroine has been cornered by the villain in the cabin and it is entranced by the villain's supernatural abilities. Our own homemade mole sauce went into this beer featuring four types of chilies, appropriately including the fierce, oh, the super fierce Naga Ghost Chilies for a fiery and smoky undertone on the palate. So, fiery and smoky. I'm looking forward to it. Um, I should quickly show you the can art, even though it's there, it's clear, more clear here. Um, you've got Jason, Michael Myers, masks from the previous two beers. Um, you've got the ghost from Poltergeist, I believe it's called. Um, or Paranormal, I think it's Poltergeist. Uh, there, and then you've got the heroine there. And she ran into the cabin and it looks like it's on fire. It looks like a really nice can art got the uh, old school film on top it looks really good so let's crack it open shall we and see what we've got oh smoke on that right pull the rest of that in a second and move that out of the way so here we have our jet black stout again with a nice tanned head to it, again. Um, this one's quite compact. Um, I can't remember what the other two look like, but this one is fairly compact bubbles. No floaters, no carbonation clinging to the glass this time. Um, and like I said, no light getting through it. So, let's get a smell, shall we? See what we get? You can smell the chilli. <laughs> oh dear. You can smell the roasted malt as well, but the chilies are the predominant smell. This really there. This is probably going to kick me ass, and I'm not going to forgive myself for it. It smells nice, though. It does smell nice. So let's get a mouth, uh, mouthful for the body and carb, shall we? Oh, oh dear. Um, carbonation is really light. Body is a medium heavy in between. Um, so far, so good. It's the spice, there is spice. Um, I'm gonna try and take my time with this because if I, I feel like if I drink too much at once, my mouth is gonna be on fire. There is just spun the glass. Uh, nice alcohol line. I don't think my camera can focus it properly. There is a nice alcohol line, um, but it's 13 percent so what do you expect? <laughs> Let's get a big old taste, shall we? Cheers. <coughs> oh. oh, wow. I went down the wrong hole and that's why I coughed, but that is, that's got some kick to it. Um, you get your roasted malts, you get this sort of chocolatey sweetness to it, only a little bit, it's not like a big flavour. The big flavour is focused on the chilli, it's focused on this mole sauce, is it a sauce, did I say? Yeah, the sauce, this mole sauce with four types of chilies. that is the main flavour, right there, 
on your tongue, and if you don't swallow it properly, that is sitting right there, the back of my throat, and it is sharp, and it's fiery, and it is good. I love spice. I was expecting spicier, I really was, but I'm not let down. I think too much spice would have killed the beer, so I'm very happy with this. so good it's got a slight dry finish as well um 13 percent it's just none you can't tell it's very 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 well hidden and i'm going to tip my uh imaginary fedora off to them because that is very good very well hidden i'm assuming the more the bigger the percentage the well i'm assuming they're all going to be hidden I'm not sure but I'm hoping. Um, yeah, that is a very, very nice beer. So, well done, Brew York. Well done for that. That is very good. So, I'm going to go away and enjoy this because this is really nice. And I actually do like that. Um, so, Brew York and Fierce... Fierce Beer? Yeah. <sighs> Pardon me. Brew York and Fierce Beer, the Ghost Dimension. Mexican Mole Imperial Stout, 13%. Out of 10, I think with the other ones, it's going to be a 10. This is, these, they've been doing so well, so, so well, um, and I'm really enjoying them. This is another 10 out of 10, well done to them too, for that, that is really good. Um, if you have had this, I'm not going to say it all again, um, let me know, let me know what you think, um, if you like it, if you don't, I've just remembered. There is a bit in the book about this. I forgot to show you. I'll just put it there. If you want to read it, you can pause it. Um, and give it a read. Uh, yeah, if you've had it, let me know. Let me know what you think, if you like it. If you don't, if you've not had it, um, I don't think you can get it anymore on the Brew York website, at least. Um, I got mine from Priest Town Brewing in Preston for 3250 but they've sold out as well. So if you get one, or if you manage to find one, now anyway, uh, well done, because looks like they're uh, pretty sold out everywhere. But um, if you've got one and not had it yet, definitely worth a drink. So, um, yeah, 10 out of 10, well done. Or, um, I'll leave the link to Brew York anyway down there, just in case you want to have a look. But I don't think it's on there. Um, so, if you like the video thumbs up thumbs down all that usual stuff if you want to subscribe consider doing so because the show must go on etc etc so on and so forth and i'll see you later